go to a, a deciding game in this final series. So, the last game of the last series decides who goes into round two. This it does. is fantastic, Excellent. and it's two players who I love, which is even more fun. And the final map is going to be uh, Medusa here. So, uh, Troll's picking, I guess, a fairly non-standard side of map. Not very surprising, considering the tournament he organized, full of non-standard maps. And uh, I hope that Mizu realizes there's a backdoor in this map. I really do. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah. And I think it would be the most anticlimactic moment in an entire tournament if who goes through to the next round of it. It's decided by, there's a back door. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so uh, let's get started here. Uh, Troz against Mizu. Winner will go through to the round of 16 of the Torrent Higher Star League. You guys want to introduce okay. the players? Yes, Mizu is the green Terran at the in and around kind of quarter past six, half six mark. And uh, Troz is the kind of just off peachy tealy or peachy kind of tan beige colored it's kind zerg of beige, yeah. at the like half ten. Whoops, I mixed up the colors. Or wow. in a... So yeah, I suppose the question is now with his tournament life on the line, do we see Tros just go nine pool and annihilate somebody? <laughs> well. Historically, from this tournament, I would say probably yes, <laughs> but we'll have to see. This map, I guess, I guess it's kind of tough for Terran. I don't know if Mizu knows how to wall properly. Is Mizu, is Mizu going to? Oh, I thought he was going to proxy Rex. He sent that drone out so early. And uh, there is an Overlord coming up, so it's not going to be a uh, the nine pulls that Troz is going to try and play a, a standard match here. It does seem like he does favor. Uh, early hatcheries has done it quite a few times. Uh, oh, Mizu so cancelled the supply depot. So it is Ooh. gonna be a 10 racks. No, a 10 supply depot again. Wait, what? No, he just decided to wall his natural and. Oh god, and Mizu. Early, I suppose. It's, it's just... fine, it's fine, it's. The problem is, he's getting scouted first. If he goes for that 14cc again, that's gonna potentially spell well... his doom, I think. I don't, I don't think so. I think it looks like Charles is just going to go 12 hatch. Like he's yeah. saved up minerals. He's gone heavy drones. Like, I think it, it could be pretty much the perfect time for route, but... Where is that drone going? Oh, so he was just scanning oh, the back. Just, up, proxy. just yeah, just just checking to make sure there wasn't any sort of shenanigans going on behind his base, which is fair enough. I wish. This, this is one of those things. I've talked to Mizu before, I think, about that. One of my favorite Rude War games ever is the one where I think... Is it Piano who did the um, rush to Firebats and got like four or five Firebats together and took down all of the temples with the splash damage from the Firebats? If that's the plan, my mind would melt. I don't oh, know. that's the plan. Mizu would be a hero. We oh, I just know we've talked about it. Forum star for it. <laughs> he knocked down the temple. Like Wait, pianoed. there's it's two cancelled buildings at this yeah, joke. What, 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 what was that about? Okay, so I think what happened was is Mizu was building the racks right at the natural. He built a second racks in the main, but the drone scout came. He cancelled that racks and used that that SCV to stop the drone harassing his SCV, and also because his you know his plan got scouted essentially. So. I mean, the drone scout, I guess, has worked out for Troz here. At the same time, uh, I think Mizu going on a more macro-focused build is probably more an advantage for Mizu, and it's kind of lucky that yeah. Troz was scouting so well, and Mizu, for some reason, decided that that was a good reason not to do his cheese that he was planning to do. Everything pretty standard from Troz right now. Has a third hatchery coming up, doing the, uh, the standard sort of three hatch before gas. Uh, Zerg style. Probably going to go up to Lair pretty quickly, just starting his gas now. And uh, there won't be any reason to make any extra Zerglings here because this wall is linked tight. I'm pretty sure. I mean, the SCV could get through, but that. I'm pretty sure that when you put depots above a Rax, it's tight. But when it's below or next to, it's not. And uh, so I guess Mizu actually knows how to wall on this map, or just knows how to wall generally, or was lucky. One of, one of those three things just happened. I don't know which one. I, 
I don't know. I don't. I just. I wish I knew what was on Mizu's mind now. Like the. The he knows how good Troz is, or at the very least, he knows how much better than him Troz kind of is generally. I wonder if. If there's some plan here, like if he has a kind of a what happens if I get this to the third map plan, like if there's something going, or if it's just fuck, I didn't expect this. What do I do now? No, um, that's a good point. And that would, like, I think, that would explain the cancel buildings. Like, I think if you were in a state of kind of abject oh, shit, how did I get here? Panic. <laughs> you could very well end up canceling things just because you see a better placement or you want to wall off the natural because you think you can get away with it. Like. I don't know, I, I would love to think that there's a plan, there's a reason for all of it, but at the same time, there's a kind of a niggling doubt that... Well, he's throwing down extra racks, he's gone up to three, I guess it's... Yeah, he's start going goods. back to that familiar playstyle that he's used every other game. Yeah. It's pretty standard, well, at yeah. Least Four racks, he's, I mean, he's if you have 500 APM, I guess that's what you do. Four Not just that, but he is... He's doing an awful lot better now, he's getting the academy, but he's doing an awful lot better in terms of just keeping track of his SCVs, like his... He's had very few SCVs just kind of tooling about having built things yeah. idle. But I mean, now a he's, lot. he's doing really careful. well this game. There's uh, really nothing to point out and laugh at. In the meantime, Troz is going for a uh, Lurker build here. Um, so Mizu's going to have to either scout that and get a uh, comms that up pretty soon to scout it. Because, I mean, it's only just started. It's still a little ways off. Um, I'm guessing that Trolls will probably be bass busting in the back door here, I would assume. Uh, because there'd be no reason not to. Like, if you make Lurkers early in this map, and a Terran, like, has a wall and a bunker or whatever, and you're like, well, I may as well just bust in the back door. And it could be pretty effective here. There is a, a suspicious looking Overlord moving in down the bottom, but I don't see drop researching, so it could just be to get a, a scout to see if the back expansion has been taken. The comms that coming up it now. It pleases me tremendously that the comms that's already on the way, and Stim yeah. as well. So, like, he's he will have all of the kind of requisite components to deal with the first couple workers at least until he can throw down the science facility and start to get vessels out. He's going to need a bunker though, because the workers will be able to just range down this wall. Um, well, in fairness, he'll have two comsats by the time the workers get there, or he has two comsats now, in fact. So, he's not in terrible shape. He might actually be going for some sort of quick timing attack. I mean, normally he would just be assumed because of the four acts that you would just go. And looks like he's doing it. Like this, oh, he's going, yeah. I reckon by far the most standard he's played because he did that that three racks the first game, right? And then he did the forty cc the, the second game. Separate control group again. Well, you pretty much have My to God. because you can't stim marines unless they're in a separate control group. Oh, of course, yeah. So that, um, that's I why I, I really, whenever I play yeah. TBZ, I never ever ever play play uh, bio because. I just can't be fucked having so my, hydras, my medics and marines in different good orbs. Yeah, the that's just sneak an awful feeling. Oh my god, Mizu the, doesn't know how the back door works. Lurkers, two lurkers, and no, he doesn't, he's pulling up the... The worst part is that he's seen a game at least one on this map. Mizu... This is How's the back main. door work? I have no idea. Um, it's stacked temples, so you see where Atroz's lurkers are morphing? As long as you do splash damage, you're damaging all of the temples at once. If you don't do splash damage, you're damaging only the one that you can see. Yeah. So the topmost temple goes down, and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And the worst part is that Mizu has already lost the game to stack temples, I believe. Oh god, he's just gonna go. He's just like, well, I guess I'll just kill the back. He's stimming to kill it, but like the lurkers, there's lots of lurkers. They're busting down the back door, and lurkers are much more effective at killing stack temples than marines are. Surprise, a fucking surprise. Would have been great if he went five bats, but he didn't. Um... It would have been wonderful. Oh my Prodigious. god. And now he starts attacking the second temple. Mizu the, is like getting the really turrets. Thing is that if he had just charged straight in, he could have very easily killed everything. Like he, he could have just base raced oh, and won. Oh, this is painful to now watch. Now the straight into the back. This is grim. <sighs> Mizu. He continues taking down those temples. He's killed another 14. one. Fourteen. Fourteen more to go. Mizu, Mizu, Mizu. Oh my and god. And Charles oh, Burroughs oh. behind minerals. So, I can't wait to see. He just won't GG. He'll just leave. I think. Like, he's like, oh, there's a lot oh, no. in my base. Maybe he'll assume it was a drop this time. He'd be like, oh, there's no back door. What are you doing that? But yeah, Mizu oh, killed like a few temples, and that's. I know. That's the it. lurkers in his base are pretty much unstoppable. He's moved his marines kind of out into the middle of the map, away from that lurker that killed the first couple of them, but. 
I don't know what the plan is here anymore. He scans but misses the lurker. Alrighty. Oh, he does get around it, but there's so much shit that, that I don't even know what music can do at this point. So he's basically he just stops and stims. He can take out the the lings, I guess. Like maybe he can kill lurker. I don't know. Oh, he's using marines to the lurker the back. He and now he's has, look. Like, this guy exploded the command center with the commsat, so... Did you just walk in? Oh my <laughs> god, Mizu. Ugh. Ugh, Mizu. Oh, at least oh. the wine pig explains what happened. He did so much better that game. He really did. Everything was just spot on into that one decision. Yeah, every, every aspect of his play mechanically was so sound. It's just the not knowing how the map works that got him. And GG. Oh. So sad. Although at the same time, it's nice to see Tros go through. It's just yeah. a shame to see Mizu play pretty much pitch perfect. Maybe that's maybe the sad thing is that that's the most confident we've seen him play. Like he just knows. He, he like once he settled into it, he knew exactly what he had to do until he got to the point where he actually had to know what the map was all about, and then he felt completely apart. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's just one of those situations where you know he didn't realize he forgot. You know, didn't think about it, and then, you know, when six lurkers just...